And even as the Congress hunts for a new president and wants to embark on this Bharat Jodo Yatra, Ghulam Nabi Azad exposing or calling what this entire process a sham. He says that the lists have been prepared by a coterie that runs the AICC. Hand-picked lieutenants are coerced to sign the lists. The electoral roll has not been published. Nominations have not been invited. No polling booths have been set up or elections head, uh, held. The AICC leadership is perpetrating a giant fraud on the party. He said that this is the entire electoral process. So similar to what was alleged during the time of uh, Rahul Gandhi, that there was a selection and not an election. Gulam Nabi Azad going out and saying this is once again a sham and it is nothing but a proxy or a puppet of the entire the leadership who's going to be placed there. That's what he has claimed in his letter. We've got Mr. P.C. Chako joining us at this point. Mr. Chako, namaste. How would you want to respond to what Mr. Ghulam Nabi Azad has written in his letter, the five-page letter addressed to Mrs. Gandhi? Mr. Chako, can you hear me? Hello, yes, I can hear you. Uh, Mr. Chako, namaste and thank you for speaking with us. Uh, how would you want to respond to Mr. Azad's letter? No, this is something which was uh, expected, you know, at least for me. Mm. Because as a person who knows the internal dynamics of the Congress party uh, till very recently, mm. I know that, you know, a good number of senior leaders are being sidelined and they are not being taken seriously by the present leadership. Mm. Rahul Gandhi do not consider or believe in a teamwork. Those who are experienced in the party are always sidelined and a small group of people who are not experienced, they're handling the entire thing of the party. Now, Gulen Nabi Asad was the leader of the Congress party in the Rajya Sabha. Once when I was leaving Congress, uh, Gulen Nabi Ji told me that you know, for one year, he did not uh, get an opportunity to discuss with the party president. There are many issues which comes for discussion in the parliament. Even on that, the party person was not available. So nobody was serious in the party, in the Congress party. Mm. Rahul Gandhi was not consistent. He makes statements. He makes uh, some very good attack against the prime minister, against the uh, BJP. That's all fine. Mm. But consistency and planning is very important in a political party. So those who are important people were not taken into confidence and there was no collective uh, functioning in the party. Mm. So Gulen Nabi Asad was a very, very, uh, you know, sad person, very badly isolated within the party. In spite of that, he was continuing because their commitment to Congress ideology. Mm. And for, for half a century, he was a congressman. So they all want to remain in the party, hoping against hope that this party will uh, improve its style of functioning. Mm. But now it has come to a stage where Party is not taking things seriously, nor taking people into confidence and discussing matters. No, Mr. And working committee meeting has become a farce. Hmm. Those who praise the leadership, those who speak the language of the leadership only will be heard, you know. Hmm. Now the, uh, the latest, uh, the, the other, which is going to be the working committee meeting. Hmm. I read in the newspapers that it is going to be an online meeting. Hmm. Online meeting or uh, direct meeting, meetings are always... Uh, just as a as a farce, hmm. never it was taken seriously. Now here's so do, do, do you agree is, with this coterie charge, Mr. Chako? Do you agree with the fact uh, with Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad where he says it's a coterie and a group of psychophants who don't even have the experience who are taking calls, and uh, Mrs. Gandhi is nothing but proxy because uh, the calls are being taken by Rahul Gandhi or his PAs and security guards. He's been quite scathing in his letter. Would you agree with this? Yes, yes, that's correct. You know, I fully agree with that because uh, Rahul Gandhi uh, is surrounded by a group of people who are totally inexperienced in politics, who cannot visualize things in a political angle. So Rahul Gandhi never take uh, the senior leaders into conference, nor discuss with them. And uh, he is not comfortable in the company of the senior leaders. So a few people who surround him are all small people who cannot visualize the party is uh, in the future, it's a responsibility, it's joint functioning with the other opposition parties. So what is happening is uh, the, the, uh, the party is functioning was totally a half-assad manner, 
an unscientific way the Congress party was, was working. But even even a senior, even that, even a senior leader like Mr. Mr. Jairam Ramesh, who has actually now said that GNA, that is Gulam Nabi Azad's DNA, has been modified. Pardon me. Mr. Jairam Ramesh has also taken a pot shot at Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad. He says this is somebody whom the Congress leadership has treated with the greatest respect has done this. And unfortunately, it is GNA, that is Gulam Nabi Azad's DNA has been modified. M-O-D-I hyphen fied. That's what Mr. Jairam Ramesh has tweeted. Do you believe that Mr. Jairam Ramesh is also part of this coterie? No, Jairam Ramesh is nobody to criticize Gulam Nabi Azad. See, Gulam Nabi Azad um, was a student uh, from the NSUI to Youth Congress to Congress. Last 50 years of Gulen Nabi Azad's political career in the Congress uh, is known to everybody. Those days, Jairam Damesh was a bureaucrat. He was nobody. Or Later only he joined the Congress party. And such people are used to attack uh, um, uh, people like Gulen Nabi Azad. Hmm. Why should um, uh, Jairam Damesh uh, make a statement against Gulen Nabi? Hmm. But Gulen Nabi wrote that letter, either Congress president or Rahul Gandhi should reply. Rahul Gandhi Jairam says, Jo dar gaya wo azad hai. People who are scared are quitting the party. Those who are fearless, they will stay with the party. He's saying, Jo dar gaya wo azad hai. That's what Mr. Rahul Gandhi has said. No, Rahul Gandhi should uh, discuss with Gulen Nabi Azad, sit with him and ask him what is the suggestions. He never took it seriously. I know for certain that, you know, when Gulen Nabi was a uh, leader of the party in the Rajya Sabha. Hmm. For one year, he did not get time to discuss with Congress president on matters of importance which is coming for discussion in the parliament. That is the way they were conducting the party affairs. Hmm. And now, Jairan Damesh X or Y making criticism is only to please their uh, leaders. And that has no value at all. But uh, Gulen Naviji's letter, hmm. if the Congress party is not taking it seriously, this is uh, the, the last days of the Congress, I can say. Mm. Congress is going down, and the last opportunity to uh, make the Congress uh, to survive, mm. they should put their heads together. Mm. People like Gulen Nabi, 23 people, they wrote a letter to Congress president. Yes. They had two, three rounds of meeting, not to create any problem for the leadership. Mm. They wanted the leadership to hear them. Mm. Their opinion was given in writing, but never there was a serious discussion. Mr. Azad... Chindan Shibar is organized. Hmm. But what happened in the Chindan Shibar? Hmm. It was a waste of time. How to revive the Congress party, how to have the opposite join functioning with other parties. None of these things were discussed in the Chindan Shibar hmm. or after. Hmm. So it has become a personal, personalized side of function hmm. which Rahul Gandhi is following. Mr. Azad and has...